A quick check now at the starting five for both teams. And for the home team, to the middle, number five. And he goes strong with the one-handed jam. Rising high to throw that one down. Sky high, fantastic one-hand jam. Yeah, what a way to wrap up that possession. Number 12, smooth as silk on the finger roll. Great move to the hoop, and I love the finger roll finish. And I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? I briefly spoke with the home team's head coach. He said they're not as worried about getting back quickly on defense as they are about having extra bodies on the offensive glass. He felt that even though it might lead to some easy baskets for their opponent, it would pay off with some extra opportunities for them and second-chance points. We'll see, guys. Thanks for that, Doris. Rebounding certainly the key topic now. Kevin, you know that, and we've seen so many games, big games, won and lost on the backboards. You have to rebound both boards. Yeah, they're going to need some help there defensively. That matchup is going to be a tough one to deal with. Number five. Well timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Yeah, and he's one player who, who doesn't need a, a lot of space to get to the basket. He's really crafty the way he can blast his way straight through traffic. He's really strong. And what I love about watching him play, Steve, is his terrific agility and body control. Even with the multiple defenders closing in, he can torch his body at angles that really give him a chance to make shots from weird positions all the time. Well, you allow them to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. Yeah, I think you got to foul them, and free throws are better than a layup. And that one goes in, too, from the line that time. And at the free throw line, it's all about consistency with him. Same routine, same stroke. Let's it go from deep, but gets it to go. He has seven. They're off and running. Good start here. They've knocked down four of their first five. Gone two or three here to start off the game. We're just about two minutes into the first quarter. Pass to Allen. Shot clock at six. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. Incredible. Only took them a few seconds to answer the three ball with one of their own. Let's keep this thing going, guys. I love seeing a three-point battle like this. And that one's good. Boy, I tell you what, he loves getting looks like that from the three-point line. No one near him. That's a warm-up jumper for him. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes play. Number six. And the officials call goaltending, so they'll award the basket. He almost got to that shot in time, but not quite. You can't touch the ball once it's on the way down. One nineteen left to play here in the first. He dishes it to Allen. Off target at the rim. The defense was ready for him that time, and they had to be. He is so powerful in the lane. Down low. Uh oh, trying for it. It's stolen. And here's the break. Number six. An amazing finish with a hand right in his face. That's just run of the mill for him. A typical day at the office. He's one of the more skilled offensive players out there. It's picked off. Number four. The layup off target. Hey, the defense was right there, just waiting, doing a nice job of anticipating that play. Steve, every team needs tough interior defense to be successful. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. Obvious foul. Yeah, he took a hit right there and earned those free throws. And he's good on the second. Even with the one miss, he's still stretched it to a two-possession game. That's big for them right now. Shot and game clock separated by five. There's the pick. Go, go, go. 
It's Allen on the win. Down to five on the shot clock. Count the bucket. Number five. Boom, he jams it straight down. Flying high and throwing down the hard one-hander. <laughs> and he does it as well as anyone. Tremendous skill in the air. And they're scoring pretty well as we conclude the first. All right, the second quarter beginning in just a moment. Guys, what's your take on the home team so far? And a good start for this club. I like the way they played together. Really moved the ball and did a nice job offensively. Yeah, excellent ball movement. And it's paid off on the scoreboard, too. Number four. Number seven, defended by Allen. Number seven, banked in off the glass. Late reaction from the defense, and he's always going to make good on that. to the paint, stolen. That's really a good picture of what not to do on those last two possessions. I mean, they're being way too casual with the ball. Yeah, it's gonna cost them if they keep it up. They need to get back to playing efficient basketball. Number four. Number 12. And he makes it look easy, dunking it hard with one hand. Pure hustle on that play, and that's what it takes on the offensive boards. It's not about ability as much as it is desire and that Clark and some muscle and he showed us he's got plenty of that with the huge dunk well in a tight game I mean they could use a few more of those hustle plays going forward if they're gonna win he gets it to go eight points for him well he's a spot-up shooter one of the best and one of those guys who if you give him an inch I mean, that's all it takes he will let it fly and frequently knock down that shot and Steve he's a player that's extremely hard to cool off I mean Picks up right where he left off after every break in the action, it seems. Timeout, halftime, it doesn't matter. When he's hot, he stays hot. Number seven. It's good from long range. Boy, such outstanding patience and decision making for them offensively. Yeah, absolutely. Their ball movement has been outstanding. They're piling up the assists. Picked his pocket. And he lobs it up toward the rim. Looky here, looky here. How about that one? That play. Take that play and put it in the alley oop textbook for future reference. <laughs> Perfectly done. He put it on a platter for him. He Gosh, sure did. And how about the touch on the finish, too? That was really nicely done. It looks like he saw some things out there that needed adjusting and uh, wants to talk it over a little bit with his club. I don't think you can ever go wrong burning the time out if you see something you don't like and you need to talk about it. There's 138 left to play here in the second quarter. Moves back up, and the layup is up and in. He's got six. Boy, where was the box out? Too easy on that second chance opportunity. Yeah, no box out is what happened there. Those kind of mistakes on the glass will kill a team. Number nine. Off with the layup. He's always going to have a difficult time finishing when the defense is in his face like that. Kicks it out to Allen. 
Looked to me like the defender didn't get squared up and get his feet set. Good work by the officials. A nice call. That play can be tough to judge sometimes. They set the pick. And for those of you just joining us, we're in the second quarter with about three minutes gone by. And another foul would give him three before the half. Something to keep our eyes on. And the first one drops. And he makes both free throws. Gotten both of their three-point attempts to go down here in the second quarter. Number 10. And a miss late. Well, the effort was there, but he just couldn't quite fight his way through trap. Here in the second quarter, just over three and a half minutes played, number six, Allen fires. Gets a very good look and converts. They well, found the open man on the perimeter and got the ball to him. Gotten off four shots from three-point range tonight and buried every one of them. Number seven, defended by Allen. Six on the shot clock. From the baseline. And too long on the shot. What was the defense doing there? I mean, he is not the guy to give an open look to, and yet they got away with it. Number eight, the feather touch on the finger roll. Beautiful. He's got eight. Brought back the finger roll. That's a nice finesse move to pull off with the defense all over. And a tight game here as we end the first half. Now, presented by Sprint. Welcome to the Halftime Report for this Thursday night. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. Welcome back to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The statue of its founder, William Penn, our view. Percentage 59%. The offense is running smoothly. Hey, turn around, turn around. Ball's knocked loose. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Yeah, he put himself in great position to finish that break off, guys. Yep, right to the rack. Number four, off target from outside. And his mechanics are just all out of whack now. He just has no feel for his shot. Well, his numbers certainly back that fact up. I mean, he is going nice cold here. Taking it to the rack with power right there. And hammering down with the two-handed slam. Well, they already had him staggered, and now all of a sudden they're throwing some haymakers. A minute played as the second half gets going. Offensive rebound, number eight. Nice work on the board. He's paying off with the basket. He's got ten. Boy, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. They've got a battle inside. Well, this game has been tough, Clark. I mean, they're getting after it, and I think they're starting to run a little bit low on energy, possibly. Number seven. That three off the mark. On one of three since starting the second half. Number six. They get the rebound. The second effort. He lays it in. I'll tell you what I love about him. His ability to finish even while absorbing contact. He is so strong. Even with defenders hanging all over him, he continues to finish at the basket. No question about it. I mean, when you talk about bruisers, that's his game. I mean, he's put that time in in the weight room, and guess what? Now he's putting that strength and muscle to use. Five on the clock to the inside. Number nine uses the glass to finish the layup. He's got nine. They've had assists now on their last three baskets. And it's not just their passing, but they're cutting their movement together as a unit that's led to that.
146 left to play in the third. Lock at six. Number six. Traps in the tray. He's got five. Oh, he's going to keep banging those home if you give him that much space. We've got 118 left here in the third quarter. It's tipped. And boy, that looked like goaltending. Yes, it is. And so they will award the basket there. He thought he had that one clean, but the ref saw it differently. They'll count the basket. And he knocks down the first one. And so he hits both. Third quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. Number seven, defended by Allen. And count if the shot is good. He'll go to the free throw line. I don't know what's happening to their defense. I mean, they, they don't have any effort, any purpose. And it's really costing them. I mean, the last five baskets at that end have been on very easy looks. Gone one of four and three-point shots here in the third. Wide open. Number eight, a second chance effort, and it's good on the way in. He's got 14. That rebound and the follow kind of typify what he's all about. Just gritty, determined play. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Six to shoot. Number seven. Accurate with the jumper from the elbow. This game has taken on a new feel since halftime. For sure. The energy level on both sides has gone way up after the break. Number eight. No good. And we've reached the end of the third. The home team, they lead by four. And we're coming back in just a moment, Kip. And thanks for joining us again as the fourth quarter of play is set to get rolling. It's been a close battle to this point. And the home team has possession. They've led by as much as 10. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. Hammers the alley-oop through. Phenomenal alley-oop slam right there, guys. They're taking advantage, Clark, of a team that looks lost out there. Mm, yeah, this is threatening to get kind of ugly out here. Side. Number eight. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. And this is why you need size inside. The ability to contest shots and force misses. Steve, that's exactly right. Even when you get in close, it's still a tough shot. Number five. Defended by Allen. The visitors on defense. Six point game. Inside. No luck. You know, normally when you dominate on the glass, it really shows up on the scoreboard, but not so much here today. You're right, Steve. Typically, it is a good barometer that indicates who's winning, but not so. What a display of offense we've seen today, and it's only getting better. Well, both defenses have been on their heels all day, and it's begun to take its toll. And it's good. Oh, a fantastic quarter for him here in the fourth. I mean, efficiency personified here. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. 
right, Kevin. The head coach for the visiting team had some instruction for his guys during that last break. They've been getting torched with all these shots from long range, and he simply said, we can't lose track of their shooters, guys. We're overhelping inside, and it's leaving them wide open. Can they make the adjustment, guys? Number seven, defended by Allen. Lock at six. He robs up the alley -oop pass. Boy, you gotta love it. A picture perfect alley -oop. A little surprised, though, Clark. He didn't go for the big slam, but it works just the same. Got one or two. Yeah, but it almost makes it a little more special. Yeah, just race over power is the way I see it. All sorts of time. No good. Guy has a good chance for them to slow it down. Yeah, I agree. Got to use some clock here. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Number five. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Well, at least the defender got his money's worth on that one. Yep, that was an easy whistle for the official. Gets the first, and that will put them up by nine. So he gets them both. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth quarter. The feed now to Allen. Down low, number six. Shot denied. Number four. And he makes good on his first shot of the game. A serious game clinching run. They've taken off here. Impressive. No backing off. What a surge at the right time. To end the run. Good. Fifty-one seconds left in the fourth quarter, and that goes out of bounds. They'll keep possession. There's 48 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Whoops, anticipated the pass. Turnover. Here's the break. Number six. And goaltending is going to be the call. So they get the basket there anyway. He got there late, but you do have to like the aggressiveness to go after the block. But that one's going to count. And the crowd immediately letting the officials have it after that whistle. A very unpopular call there. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Number 10. And he banks in the way. Terrific job taking care of business in front of the home fans. And Steve, I thought those fans, those home fans, gave this team a big lift all game. A lot of positive energy in the building. Twenty-four seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Gets it to go. Boy, you can't run an inbounds play any better than that right there. And guys, they can just sit on the ball here if they want to. Sure can, because they've earned the win. And that puts a, a cherry on top, so to speak, of what's been a phenomenal showing for them. All over but the winding now, Steve. They get a hand on it. Number four. Soft touch off the glass. And their field goal percentage continues to climb. They have really shot the ball well here today so far. Yeah, and it's all about all the shot selection, smart shot selection. They've been very patient all that. So the home crowd happy here as they get the victory. Some days, Clark, everything goes right for a team, and they just did one of those games. Yeah, it certainly was. I mean, these guys played a great all-around basketball game here. Well, that'll do it for us for Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. We endorse Bert Kevin Holland saying so long. As we end the game, we bring you our Jordan player of the game.